I've uh, managed to do the second coil now. I think they're uh, both in sync. But, yeah, because I did it from the top hand side, it looks a lot neater this way than it does uh, this way. But uh, I don't think that matters much. The uh, uh, what I've done is I've left the one pins in, which are every 30 degrees, and if you'll notice here I've left two lugs in uh, which are the actual connections to that winding and then at another let's find where it is now on here I've left them in now uh, I've left them in here and here and then the final one is going to get left in over here which is going to make it uh, 120 out of phase for each one or a, a three phase system uh, I'm just going to show you now the ohms of uh, each of the coils which uh, should give us the rough estimate of uh, how long the coil is uh, if they're roughly the same, which I think they are, uh, it means that we've got the same amount of uh, wraps per coil. Alright, so I've got the uh, first one hooked up just directly now to my ohmmeter. And as we can see there, we've got uh, 50.4 ohms. And if I hook up to the other one now, it's up to the other coil now. Uh, we're getting 50.1 ohms, and when we put the neodymium directly in the centre, it goes down. When we take it out, it goes down again. It went up then. I think if we uh, hold the range, all the way down to 21 there. What I've done is I've uh, hooked it up directly to the signal generator and I've also grounded the signal generator to the oscilloscope, which I've now switched on. Now, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I've got my tin foil. So, uh, I noticed that someone commented that the magnet vibrates even when that's not on there. So, if I give it a small amount, uh, say 100 hertz, and put the uh, magnet by it. You can hear it home. Right, if I put the aluminium foil by it, and put it all on there. The coil's not vibrating, it's actually the magnet. And we can we can alter that. Now uh, what we're gonna do is uh hook this up so we can see what the uh, feedback is on it. I'll do that now. What I'm doing is I'm finding it's uh, doing ever such a nice little effect. Uh, just see if we can turn the intensity down slightly. I've uh, forced to turn it evens out the wave in between, and then it does what looks like a resonance uh, within. So it's like a yeah, figure of eight. Turn the time base up. You can see some nice 
uh, ringing out here and if I turn the time base up you can see what I mean by uh, these little uh, secondary and they're not there just turn time base up again looks like we're only getting the uh, the resonance and if I can go up the scale looks like we're hitting resonance there now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, turn the time base down lots and that looks like that's the quarter and we should be able to get or is it the one after the quarter so uh, if I turn it up another one That's it, well, that's where we're resonating, I think. The resonant frequency. It's just there. But uh, that's way off uh, the audio. Okay, you can't hear that at all. Uh, I'm wondering if, uh, if I was to take the magnet off, if it would make a difference. And the foil. Doesn't seem to do any difference whatsoever. And I've just managed to take the... That's it. that's great then so we know we can get these uh, coils into resonance it's just uh, finding out what we can do whilst they're there that's brilliant then and uh, thanks for watching